In the last video, we made it so our part would not explode until we pushed it. Now let's add a timer and a flashing animation so that the player has a chance to run away. We'll make the part flash red and white for a couple seconds before exploding. Now there are a couple ways to do this. Let's start with something familiar by using another while loop. I'm first going to make a variable called steps to keep track of how many times we flash the part. I'm just going to start this variable at 1. Then I'm going to make a while loop. That will run while steps is less than or equal to 3. And inside this loop, we'll increase the value stored inside of steps by 1, and then flash the color of the part, adding some weights to allow the animation to play. So while this runs, on each pass of the loop, the loop will first check to see if steps has reached 3. If not, it will add 1 to steps, play the animation, and then once steps is 3, then the loop will stop and the part will explode. While the above code is perfectly valid and will run fine, there's actually a simpler way we can write this by using a specialized version of a loop called a for loop. Now with for loop, you first type for, then a variable name you want to use as a counter, then the value you want the variable to start at. Note that we don't need to use the local keyword when we're creating a for loop. Next, we type a comma, then the value we want the variable to reach. We can write another comma, then the number we want to add every step when the loop runs, but Lua sets this value to 1 by default, so we actually don't need to include it in this case. So now if we run our game, we can push the part, and we see the flashing effect loop before the explosion.